Alright guys, today's uh, gonna be a shooting video, more more of a testing video actually. But we're going to dry powder. So come to my attention about a year ago that one of my buddies put on Facebook that he dried out powder and it was Varget, which Shooter's World is their equivalent to Varget. And I have about 12 pounds of it. A little backstory, I, I tested this up to, I don't know, like 31.5 grains. And uh, I worked up to that. I still never achieved the velocity that I wanted. It's like I couldn't put enough powder in the case. So what I'm gonna do is, most people use a dehydrator. <laughs> My dehydrator isn't big enough to put a tray in or whatever. So I'm gonna use an oven. I've done a little research. Pretty much everything I've seen online says an oven at a low temperature can be, does the same thing as a dehydrator. So I've got it set up. I've got a, a thermometer in there. I've got it set up. I'm gonna run it between 150 and 160 degrees. And I'm gonna run about an hour and after that, I'm going to load these with 109 burgers, and I'm probably going to go down to, I don't know, probably 30.3 grains, and I'm going to load 10 of the dried and 10 of non-dried, and just see what the comparison is. If it does anything, you know, if I, if I get more muzzle velocity with less grainage, great. So, but that's it, just a, a simple test. 10 rounds with, 10 rounds without. I understand that that's not this big, massive quantity that most people's gonna say, you should try 50 or 100. Well, I don't have 100 burger 109s I'm willing to, to uh, just burn for the sake of it. So, to be continued, we're gonna put this powder in this tray, this tray in this little mini oven for 60 minutes, and then we'll load them and we'll go shoot them. All right, it's been 60 minutes. We'll see what it's about. Hopefully it works good. I mean, who doesn't want, I don't know, a bunch of more feet per second for less charge. So, Mythbuster, here we come. So I've got the dehydrated. Obviously it has the D for dehydrated. This is this piece of a regular pound. So I'm gonna load 10, change it out, load 10. I'm gonna mark the bottoms of the brass. Uh, since I got the dehydrated, D is orange. I'm gonna mark the bottom of the brass with orange. So that's what we're gonna do. He'll stay. All right, I'm gonna shoot two shots of a regular bullet just to make sure the lab radar is picking it up. Then I'm gonna shoot five shots, non dehydrated.
Here's the non-dehydrated. So I'm about 2,800. So that's my numbers for the non-dehydrated. Hi. This is non-dehydrated. I'm gonna shoot at the bottom dot. Top piece of paper. I'm gonna say it shoots a small group. Alright. Seven one on the gun. Seven. That baby's doing it. Let's zoom out here. I'll have to go down there and measure that one. All right, guys. So my test results was not what I wanted to see. I don't know if I might have messed up the process or if 
my powder didn't contain much moisture, but either way, it told me that I don't need to dry the remaining pounds of that shoe's world precision that I have. So that's a good thing. It saves me the headache of putting it in a tray, drying it out, putting it back in a bottle without contaminating it and such as that. So it was very telling. As you can see in the numbers in the video, 2794 non-dehydrated, dehydrated was 2801. Seven feet per second for that amount of work was not worth it to me. Uh, I mean, it might be worth it for some people, but not for me. So if you like content like this, I've got another video on here already that is me testing out shoulder bump differences. And if you want to watch it, go down here and look at this link. And I will be also doing a, another, um, I'll be working up a load with Shooter's World. So stay tuned for that one. And thank y'all for watching. Give me a like and a subscribe and go watch this video.